For those that don't know me, I'm John Tanak. I'm the uh, new uh, director out here. I've been here about six weeks now, and, and so I'm still learning a lot. I'm going to turn it over to Brent Hess, the director of the Ag Experiment Station. Okay, thank you, John, and welcome, everybody. Um, before I get started, I just want to recognize a few people, like the person that's about to sit down, former director Jim Jacobs. Thanks for coming out, Jim. It's good to see you. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Um, there's a couple other representatives from the college representing the Dean's Office in Academic and Student Programs, Donna Brown, as well as the Extension Director, um, thank goodness he wore an orange hat, thanks Ben, Ben Whipple. Um, and then there's a couple of department heads with us, newly appointed department head, Scott Miller, representing Ecosystem Science Management and Plant Sciences, Dr. Jim Heitel. Um, and then I'm going to point out somebody that's going to introduce a new department head for animal science, but serving in that capacity before then was Dr. Worry Means. And so um, thank you all for being here. Um, I'm going to try to keep this short so that you can listen to uh, the people that have something really good to say um, and you get a chance to learn uh, about some of the activities that are here occurring here. Um, before I do get started, though, when you registered, you should have all picked up one of these field days bulletin. Um, I'm going to I'm going to point a couple of things out in that, um, and in addition to the field days bulletin, hopefully you have one of these schedules. On these schedules, you'll see page numbers that are referenced. Those reference the articles that are published in the field days bulletin um, that are related to that specific topic that will be addressed. Um, to start off the, the program, what I'd like everybody to do is just to open the first page of the, the field day bulletin, turn to page two, and on page two you're gonna, going to see that this particular bulletin is dedicated to an individual that meant a lot to our system. He was a, a board member for CEREC for a long time, and a huge supporter of the Agricultural Experiment Station. So if all of you wouldn't mind um, just taking a moment of silence and help me recognize Ron Pulley. Thank you. There's a couple other things that I wanted to point out um, in the introduction. That's the, the piece that um, I contributed. I, there's kind of an indication of what the field days are all about. And there's a description of um, who serves as the host or the MC. Dr. Tanaka has already indicated that he is the new director as of six weeks ago of CEREC. Um, so that should indicate then for um, everybody that, Dar uh, that Jim Freeber has uh, elected to, to explore a different one-track career opportunity rather than spreading over uh, a couple. And he, he will serve as the PDP coordinator. Uh, that's the program development program. Professional. Uh, professional development program coordinator for Western Sarah. Um, and John is going to serve as the director of CEREC, as well as the um, associate director for the Agriculture Experiment Station. So the reason that we're here today is to give all of you an idea of some of the things that are occurring here at, at the center, um, highlight a few of the projects. Those projects are also highlighted in the field based bulletin, as I, I mentioned. And this field days bulletin is, is put together as a collection of two page summaries of um, the, the highlights of the activity. And we've also gone to a shorter format just to, to give you an idea of some of the projects that maybe don't have a lot of information collected on them yet, but um, there, there's an idea in a shorter format on what the project is about and why we're, we're doing that particular project. So, Make sure that you have one of those. Um, 
And you can follow along when we have the presenters uh, turn into those pages, recognize that those are intended to be brief summaries of the project. The extensive details uh, can be um, gathered by contacting the particular author. Um, and then one other thing that you'll notice in those field aid bulletins is um, at the end of each one, there's reference to PARP as Production Agricultural Research Priorities. And what we're trying to do is ask our researchers to self-identify which of those priorities is being addressed by the research that they're conducting um, with the idea that these priorities came out of, evolved from, our advisory groups as well as listening sessions that our advisory groups and our extension colleagues helped hold throughout the state. So what we're, what we're going to start doing then is illustrating back to you after we've listened to you about what you think you need, um, we're going to show you exactly what we're trying to accomplish um, in our research to address those priorities and then identify the gaps in the areas that still need to be worked on. Um, before I go any further, I also uh, forgot one very critically important group, and that's the, the members of the Administrative Advisory Council, as well as a citizens focus group that represent you as producers for um, CEREC. So those members, would you please stand to be recognized? Larry, you're in the front here. Go ahead and stand up, Cindy. Sorry. <laughs> Anybody else out there? Um, please join me in recognizing them for their efforts. Okay, thank you. Um, lastly, there's an acknowledgement that I, I read about, and um, the individual that I that I know was here that helped compile this um, work and make sure that it's a professional document. Is walking around outside here with a bottle. So if everybody looks out there, she just put the bottle behind her back. That's Joanne Nuka. She's the one that makes us all look good with this publication, and I just want to make sure that everybody was aware of who that is, because she's one of the persons that are behind the scenes all the time and um, helping us uh, with our work. So thank you very much, Joanne, for your efforts. Okay, um, I know John is probably itching to, to get started. Uh, I, one thing I do want to indicate is um, there, there's a lot of persons in this room that I, I just don't have time to recognize individually, so I just want to say thanks to all of the contributors to, the, to today's field day, and including all the staff that makes this happen. Uh, we certainly appreciate everything that you do. Um, what I do want to say before I give the mic back over to John is next year will be 125 years of the experiment station in the state of Wyoming. And we are planning to celebrate that um, as a system. And part of that celebration is with every field day we'll, we'll celebrate the existence of the r &E Center that makes up part of that system. And then, so in case you didn't know, or maybe you've heard, so, um, there has been an experiment station in Goshen County for 100 years. So this is 100 years. Next year, we will celebrate that existence of a center like this in Goshen County, being in here for 101 years as part of our 125th overall celebration. So please make sure that you pay uh, attention to that, the announcements for the field day next year because we're going to plan all kinds of activities to celebrate that long-standing history of a, an experiment station here in Goshen County next year.